Several years ago, Dr. Lowry spoke with 11 Alive News about how the civil rights movement grew into an unstoppable revolution, one that led the nation on a journey for change. Birmingham was the eye of the storm. This is raw tyranny. Birmingham was to America what Johannesburg was to South Africa. Black people were lived in constant fear. If we could resolve Birmingham, if we could get Birmingham to turn around, the rest of the country would move easily. We will use the dogs if they start draw, drawing knives again, and throwing rocks. We will use the holes if it becomes necessary. People saw firsthand what Bull Con represented. In their living room, they saw children being swept away by the force of, of water hoses. They saw uh, dogs biting the flesh of children uh, in the park. And people no longer could deny that we were, we were fighting madmen. The movement had reached its zenith in the South and we now wanted to go to the seat of government. We must now leave in order to go to the Lincoln Memorial Monument. The country was just waking up to the civil rights movement. And the, the march on Washington was, was the first big event that the movement had pulled together outside of the South. And I came into Washington from Chicago and I got there early in the morning, and there wasn't anybody on the street, and I got nervous. But but later, later that morning, the place started filling up, and of course we had a quarter of a million people, at least. I have a dream to be. Oh, that much was the first real national impact that the movement had. I think the the uh, '64. Public Accommodations Act came out of that march. The 65 Voting Rights Act came out of that march. It was the uh, most effective march in history up to that time. I wrote a speech about 25 years ago called Everything Has Changed and Nothing Has Changed. It's, it's very appropriate now. That's where we are today. We've, we've come a long, long way. We've, we've got more elected officials than we ever had, African-American and minorities. Uh, and yet we've got it, everything has changed. Say amen. We've even got the highest office in the land now. We ain't going back. We've come too far. Marched too long. Prayed too hard. Whipped too bitterly, bled too profusely, and died too young to let anybody turn back the clock on our journey to justice. It signals that we're on the way. We're marching. 